Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Today I will show you how to connect this small stepper motor to a Raspberry Pi and let it rotate in a number of degrees. And as always, I made the Python script available in a public GitHub repository, which you'll find in the description below. Now these motors are widely available from eBay for a few dollars, so I bought a whole bunch for less than ten dollars. Amazing, isn't it? And that's including these driver boards. Now, as you can see, I've already hooked it up to my Raspberry Pi and the motor pins are connected to pins 11, 12, 13 and 15 and the power pins over here and I've used the correct colors for a change. I've connected them to the 5 volt output. As you can see, let me lift the whole bunch. The jumper for the 12 volt is still under and I've connected it to the 5 volt and there are the four inputs and of course the plug for the motor is in here and I've connected them to the Raspberry Pi over here. Now let me put this whole bunch down again. Now to make this turn in a number of degrees I need to know how much steps this motor takes to make a full turn. And I've looked at the data sheet and it takes this motor exactly 64 steps to make a full turn. And at the inside of the motor there's also a small gear box here on top which has a, a 1 to 64 ratio. Which means that if the motor itself made a full turn the output here on top uh, would only have turned this output, um, let me show, this, this, this pin I mean, would have turned 1 64th uh, of 360 degrees, which is about 5.6 degrees. So to make a full turn, the motor needs to rotate 4,096 uh, 4 steps. Uh, and I'll explain that in, the, in detail in a few moments when I'll go over the Python script. For now, I just want to show you how the, this script works and that it works. So I'll go to my PC over here and I've now currently logged into this Raspberry Pi over SSH and I'm calling my Python script over here and I just tell it, to, uh, tell it to rotate 180 degrees clockwise and uh, start at position 5. I'll come to that in a few moments, but I press the enter button right now. So there it goes, 180 degrees and I've connected, no, I've clipped on my spatula on here so you can actually see it rotate a little better so let's do it one more time and there we go 180 degrees and of course i can make it turn the other way around and make 90 degrees of it so there we go now i'll uh, switch to my computer screen and explain how this python program works because now you've seen that it works um, but before i do that uh, i no, I'll explain that on the Python program itself. Yeah, there we go. So here we are at the computer screen. Now, let me start going over this entire Python script. It looks lengthy, but it is not. It is <laughs> fairly easy. So here we go. Import the required libraries. Set the mode to board. As always, I prefer the board mode, which just allows me to enter physical pin numbers instead of the GPIO numbers and turn off the warnings. Now the motor pins over here are 12, 15, 11 and 13 as I mentioned before but in this exact sequence and I'll show you later on uh, I'll go back to the camera and I'll show you what happens when we mess up the sequence. So the sequence over here is fairly important. Now uh, that's just because how I connected the pins to my Raspberry. When I mess them up I need to change these over here. The sequence of course, only uh, and not the numbers. Now when uh, uh, we start we need to set up all the pins 12, 15, 11 and 13 as output pins. Set them as output and turn off the output. Here we define an array. Uh, I just call them arrays because I'm used to programming PHP and not Python. But I believe Python is called in, in Python this is called a list. And these are all the steps the motor can make and uh, we start with a half step and a half step is the position where there are two zeros defined in another list and these are half steps that means that the motor sits between exactly between two steps 
So it makes this motor just a little bit more precise, which makes that it needs 4090 steps to rotate. Now, here we check how long this sequence is because, uh, and of course this returns 8, but we can remove all the half steps from here, which makes that this motor now needs uh, 2048 steps to f make a full turn. But you would think that it rotates can rotate faster than it just did, but it cannot, um, because this motor just needs its time to, to make the rotation. That's why we define a sleep uh, over here, a wait time, for, for just for the motor to finish its rotation. So when we remove the half steps, it just takes the motor a little bit longer to make the rotation. And over here, I'm, I'm making a mess now, but over here I'll uh, create a, uh, this, this variable with the wait time, which is given in the first argument and divided by the number of milliseconds. Uh, the, uh, don't know exactly the number of milliseconds, but divided by float thousand and make it a float because which just makes sure that this result is a float. Um, and a float is just a number which uh, can be, uh, <laughs> how to say that in English, <laughs> uh, just has a dot in it, <laughs> has some, some digits behind the dot. <laughs> um, now, and, and here we calculate the number of degrees. But before I do that, I believe I was uh, here explaining it. If the argument 3 is CW, clockwise, can also be anything else, or CCW for counterclockwise, the direction is 1, and in other, if it is not CW, the direction is one, uh, minus 1, which means that uh, if it is 1 clockwise, we travel down the array, or list, sorry Python, and when it is minus 1, we travel up the list, so the motor just turns the other way around. Now. Here we calculate the degrees by multiplying the argument by 11.3 and then a load of sevens and just define the position where to start in this array. Over here just start at the beginning. But to make this motor the number of degrees a little bit more precise, I can I made it so that we can start at a specific position in this array over here. And I did that because I, I, want, I wanted uh, this motor to be a little bit more precise. If we just always start at, at 1, the, and you would uh, turn this motor 10 degrees uh, clockwise and counterclockwise and repeat that process a number of times, it would eventually drift off a, a, a very tiny amount, maybe a degree or something, because it always starts at 0 and not at the position where it stopped. So. When this motor stops, I'll show you at the end, it just prints the position where it uh, where it stopped. So when you restart this script, it can start where it uh, stopped and then yeah, uh, continue where it, it, it stopped and then does make this motor a little bit more precise. So you can turn 10 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise a number of times without this motor drifting out of uh, the 10 degree angle you're specifying that it must rotate. Now, uh, let's see where did I... Uh, oh, that, that's over here, of course. When the fourth argument is uh, present, that means the position in the array... Is, there is a new start position in the array. Uh, this was just a reminder for myself how my, many road, uh, many steps are required for a 90 degree or 360 degree angle. Now. For each step in range 0 to the number of degrees, we do all this stuff. <laughs> First, we're going to find the exact exact pin number uh, um, over here. So when the pin, so 0 to 4, we're, we're looping over 0 to 4 pins all the time, we, which are over here. The real pin, that's why I call it real pin, and then find uh, if this pin needs to be on or off from this sequence, which happens over here. And if it is not 1, we're going to set it to true. And if it is 1, or anything else in this case, because there is an else, we set it to false. Now, this, this uh, I, I 
abbreviated it's a six sequence position position air where we are in the airway uh, at at the direction so when it is one over here it just skips one lower and when it is minus one it goes up and here we check if it is zero that means it were out of scope we need to set it to the length and when it is uh, or below zero and when it is higher or uh, higher than the in this case it would be 8, so 0 to 8, 0 to 7, and when it is 8, we reset it to 0. Then we're going to sleep, just because to the, for the motor to finish its, its rotation, and then go back until we're finished uh, at the exact degrees where, where we want the motor to be. Um, I made a bit mess of of it, but uh, uh, in my explanation, because yeah, I was looking for the not yeah looking for the right words. I hope you can forgive me, but if you have any questions about this or this entire script, let me know. I'm I'm happy to explain. Um, here we just set all the outputs to false. If we don't do that, a couple of LEDs uh, will light and the motor uh, will be held in that exact same position. So we just turn them off and print the position where we left over here. And uh, like I said, this is very handy if this script is called by another script, which can catch uh, the output of this script to uh, find where it, where it left in this array over here. Sequence, sorry, uh, list, <laughs> sorry. Um, now I'm going to switch back to the camera because I want to show you what happens when we mess up the sequence uh, of the pin numbers and how we actually can correct that. Um, but before I do that, um, I'm going to remo remove all the half pins from the script over here. I'm just commenting them out. Now the sequence is only four positions long and uh, which makes this the, the, the next uh, a little bit more logical because now the LEDs will light uh, one by one. Um, yeah, I'm going to save this script um, and I'll switch back to my camera and so you can see what happens when I mess up the pin numbers. There we go. Now here we are back again at, uh, at the camera position. Um, let me try if I can get this to hold this in one hand. And now I'm going to call my Python program, which you just saw. Um, and the uh, I'm typing in Python uh, space motor dag dot py. That's how I called it. Uh, space fifty space five space cw. So which means the our first argument after the script file name is 50, which means, which means that it would rotate very slowly. It would rotate 5 degrees, because that was my next, my next argument, and then counterclockwise, or clockwise, depends on how the motor is installed. So here we are, and 50 is fairly slow, because there it is, and rotating 5 degrees, and the mo you saw the motor rotating, but that is not the interesting part. The interesting part are the LEDs over here. There you can see they're traveling down, and of course when I make this counterclockwise, they're traveling down towards me, and I can even slow it a little bit more, make the second argument 100, and there you can see the motor is still rotating, but the LEDs are traveling towards me. Now, let me mix up some wires over here, I'm going to switch the white and the blue ones from position so it's still 11 12 13 and 15 but now in a diff in a not in a correct position so i'm going to repeat my last comment the five degrees 100 uh, in time and uh, there you see it's messed up and the motor is it is buzzing, of course, but it is not rotating. And of course, I can speed this up. Let's make this 10. And you see the, that the motor is doing something, but uh, it is not very decisive in what it is what it wants to do. That's because the sequence is messed up. And that's what I mean. That's why the sequence is very important. So 
when your motor is not turning, check the sequence, just mess around a bit until you have it correct. But I should not pull in the wires like this. Naughty me. Now they're back in position. Let's see. There we are. Nice rotation again. Um, one final note. You saw me removing half of the uh, elements from the list. Uh, which also means that now that the decrease are uh, doubled. So when I enter this motor. Need this motor to de rotate 90 degrees. It actually rotates 180 degrees. There we go. That's because the calculation is now incorrect. Um, also, like I said before, the first argument is the script file, and the second argument is the wait time. When I make this a 1, right now the motor is not uh, getting enough time for, to make the rotation, and it will just buzz. The lights will, uh, LEDs will light, but the rotation will probably not succeed. Let's try that right now. There we go. It was buzzing, the li lights were doing like they would normally, but it didn't do nothing. So I need to change this back to two to make it rotate again. Just gives the motor just enough time to make the rotating, rotating the step. So this is how I made my stepper motor rotate on the Raspberry Pi. I'll make the script available. You'll see it in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.